Hey honey, welcome to my channel Design by Adam. My name is Teresa and I'm a professional fashion designer here to share all of my secrets with you. So today I want to talk about how you can find your line as a designer. And I know that can be very difficult because if you have studied fashion design, maybe you're coming straight from school and you're, you're not really sure what you want to design and what your style is and how you're going to stand out as a designer. And that can be tricky. So I'm going to help you to do that right now. Okay. So it would be good for you to find a pen and paper right now so you can write this down so you can fill in the blanks afterwards. Okay. So in order to find your line as a designer, your unique style, we need to define who you are. So on a piece of paper, I want you to think about these questions, okay? So who are you? Like, where are you from? What, um, what words would people use to describe you? Like, are you from the UK and you're from the country, but you just moved into a big city? Is that part of your story? Um, are you from, I don't know, are you from Africa? Are you from China? Are you from New York? I don't know, but try to define something about who you are and where you come from. And then let's look at your interests and I'm not saying you're going to, okay, if you love golf, I'm not saying you're going to design golf wear, but I'm just saying, um, just put down on paper the things that you are drawn to, the things that you are interested in. Is it cars? Is it animals? Is it um, sports? Is it like any, it can be anything. Just put it down on paper, your interests. Then I want you to think about what is, what do you like to watch on TV? Like what are your kind of movies or TV series that you like to watch? Or maybe you like to read books. What kind of books do you like to read? So what are you drawn to? And um, with that, try to um, clarify who you read about or who you're watching on the screen. So for me, I like many different kinds of TV series. But I love watching TV series or movies where there's like a really strong, powerful woman and she dresses in the most amazing clothes. Okay? I love that. I love seeing these independent, strong, amazing power ladies dress amazingly. Beautiful clothes. And whether it be dresses or office clothes or just the best trench coat ever, you know, just these um, ladies who are so confident and so stylish and I just... I love watching them on the screen. So that's something that I'm drawn to. So um, what about your personality? Like, what are you like? Are you very quiet? Um, or are you super loud? Are you the funny one always making jokes? Are you um, <laughs> the drama queen? I mean, I don't know. But try to define who you are, um, what your personality is like. So for me, I would say, okay, it might not look like this right now on camera, but I'm a pretty quiet person. So when I was in fashion school, I didn't really open my mouth unless I really had something to say. I would let all the other people talk and talk and talk and talk and fight about who would be heard. And I would just sit there quietly and listen because that's my personality. That's what I normally do. I'm not the first person to speak up and and um, be loud and demand attention. I'm pretty quiet. So, and I love quiet things when I design. So what I mean by that is um, I love the designs that are not very colorful, bright, graphic, uh, loud prints. That's not my style. I love the quiet little details. So maybe it's a dress that is in just one color and it has just the matte and shiny differences. So I made this um, one dress a long time ago. It's like dark brown and it has like the wool jersey at the bottom of the dress and silk charmeuse at the top of the dress and it's the exact same color 
but just the difference of the matte wool with the um, shiny silk satin charmeuse is just beautiful to me. Those like small differences, those quiet little details, I love that. So that's a part of my aesthetic, my personality, and what I'm drawn to. So what else can you think about? You can think about um, what kind of music do you like? What kind of, um, are you like into opera? Do you like R&B? Do you like rock? You know, try to put on paper as much as you can about you. And then I want you to try to think about your story. What's your story? What do you tell people? If you're gonna write a biography right now about you and your life and what you've been through, where you come from, what you've achieved, what you've overcome, what's your story like? I don't know your story, um, but maybe it's something like you came from this country and this family in this situation and then you moved over here and now it's completely different and you have changed in this way and you have evolved and you have gone through all these tough things and you have come out on the other side and you know um all these things that happen in your life they change you and they um mold you and they um make the person you are today so if you've been through a lot of tough times and you've come out of them you're probably pretty strong so try to write your story and now here is the gold. What I want you to do now, I want you to look at your piece of paper and I want you to see everything that you've written down. And maybe you've just put down like keywords or maybe you've put down, put down um, colors or names of cities, I don't know. It can be anything. But let's say you put down um, quiet, tennis and New York for example. Okay. <clears throat> How can you fuse these things together? How can you be, okay, New York is not a very quiet city. So how could you design something that would have like the New York vibe and still have the quiet details that you love and maybe have some of the aesthetic that you love from tennis? Maybe you, you don't use the tennis part. I don't know. But the thing is, try to um, find two or three of your defining keywords and fuse them together. Because when you fuse something together, you create something new. So if you're mixing China and Kenya, you would create something new. You would create something unique and it can be amazing okay so try to fuse the different parts of you and your story and create something that's unique to you because only you have your story right so other designers can be inspired by um nepal one season and everyone is looking to nepal and looking at their culture and trying to be inspired and trying to design something um inspired by Nepal, right? But what I'm asking you to do now is not to just choose one thing and design something based on that inspiration. What I'm trying to make you just make you do is define who you are and use your defining elements, keywords to create your style. And it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be maybe challenging and difficult, but it's gonna be fun. And once you have defined sort of who you are and what your style is, try drawing. Try designing some clothes with that in mind. It'll be fun, I promise. And um, I've done this many times in school also. If I was really stuck and I needed to find um, inspiration, I needed to like find a new exciting way of designing something, then I would um, try to fuse it with something else. So if we were given a task to um, design a collection for Abercrombie & Fitch, then I would be like, okay, what can I fuse it with? Okay, um, Abercrombie & Fitch goes to Hawaii. 
okay? And then I would fuse the Hawaii um, culture and style and the flowers from Hawaii, and I would fuse that with what I know to be the American, um, the Abercrombie and Fitch style, right? And I would fuse those two together and create something new, something fresh. So that's what I'm asking you to do. Create something that's you and unique to you and your story and design with it, go with it. And maybe you won't use these designs for anything, but it's just a good exercise to do to um, learn to know yourself better, to learn to know who you are and what you would look like if you were a design collection. And then you can use that when you meet other people and when they ask you who you are. And if you ever um, design a collection and you need to describe yourself, like I had a collection at, um, I've had a few collections at Fashion Week, and then oftentimes they ask you to write like a really short paragraph about the designer, okay? So it needs to be just a well-written short text about you as a designer. And if you really, really know who you are and you've tried all these exercises out and you've even tried drawing it out, then it'll be easier for you to tell the world who you are. So whether it be in a short paragraph at Fashion Week or whether you're going to a job interview or, you know, anytime you meet people in the world, you know who you are and you can tell them that. And you also... Um, will use this when you start designing. So just always stay true to who you are because when people hire designers, they're hiring you. So if I'm Nike and I'm looking for new designers, then I'm not just, um, I'm not hiring robots to just design Nike clothes the way Nike clothes have always looked. I'm hiring unique people who will bring their own aesthetic, their own sense of style, their own fantasy, imagination, creative powers to the designs to create something new. So whoever is hiring you, they are looking at you and who you are and what you can bring to the table. So the better you know who you are, the better you know what your style of design will be. And then you can use that and try your best to keep your style. So no matter who you're designing for, no matter what um, projects you are given, whether it be kids wear, men's wear, women's wear, red carpet dresses, haute couture, whatever it is, try to always have in the back of your mind, what would this look like uh, if I design it as who I am? So whether you're designing for Nike, what would a Nike collection look like designed from my perspective, who I am. It's going to make your designs unique. It's going to make you uh, confident and it's going to help you find your voice and your line as a designer. And it's going to be super valuable because, because the more clear you are about who you are and what your line as a, des as a designer is, the more um, people will recognize you. And for me, people will recognize my designs I've designed for many different brands, but people can tell which designs are mine and which designs are from an, another designer because I always stay true to who I am. And I, even though I am designing next to two other designers and we're all using the same color story and we're all using the same inspiration for the collection, I still find a way to put my line as a designer on the garments and my designs are always recognizable as coming from me, okay? And it's powerful because it makes you stand out. It makes people notice you and remember you. And people will recognize your designs all throughout uh, your career. So I hope this was helpful to you. And if it was, please like this video. And I'm going to make you a deal. If you click subscribe and hit the bell, I will keep sharing all of my fashion secrets with you. Have a beautiful day, honey, and can't wait to see you next time.